16 meters long, 11 meters wide and flying at twice the speed of sound. That's the Eurofighter Type 3. More than 600 aircraft have been delivered already and the number is increasing. Today we take a look behind the scenes on how Eurofighter Type 3s are built. So join me now, this is the Fighter Show with Flo. Welcome to the production facilities of the Eurofighter Typhoon. Eurofighter is the largest defense program in Europe. Almost 100,000 people are working for it. And we are today here at Everson Munching, where the Typhoons are assembled. Hi, Benedict. How are you doing? Hi, Flo. Good, and you? Great, thank you. Um, Benedict, you are working here at Everson Munching. What's your occupation? I'm an electrical system tester for the final assembly line for the new Quadriga program for the German Typhoons. So that means you know a lot about the Eurofighter, right? Yes, for sure. Can you tell us also how it's assembled? Yeah, i show you. Oh wow, Benedict, where are we now? This is the station one. This is the birth of the Eurofighter. Here you've got the major components like the rear fuse, the center fuse and the front fuse uh, splicing together. Okay, and where do you get those components from and how are they coming into the final assembly uh, line? They all arrive by a truck. Mm -hmm. We are delivered right behind us and we lift it up and splice it together in this section. And you got a very funny name for that part of the aircraft, I understand, right? This part is called the cigar because it looks, it looks like a big cigar. <laughs> yeah, without, without smoke. Yeah, without smoke, but only for now. Later you've got a little bit more smoke. Oh, you mean with the engines? Yeah, for uh, sure, okay. with the engines. Oh, what's happening now? Oh, now we're lifting up the front fuse, but safety first, Flo. You need to uh, take a safety helmet. Oh, okay, thank you. <laughs> and now I'll show you how to splice the front fuse to the center fuse. Let's have a look. Does it fit? Yeah. So, Benedict, how can you ensure that the cockpit part fits 100% together with the, with the center fuse? As you can see, we place it on our lifting ramp yeah. Yeah, and drive it slowly together for the exact fitting. Then we call our special team for the 3D measurements and they doing the alignment perfectly that it fits 100%. Okay. So guys, here we are now at station two, right Benedict? Yes, we're here on the second stage from the assembly of the Typhoon and I got a specialist for us. This is Danny. Hi Danny, great to see you. See you. So you are the specialist for station two, you know everything, right? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so tell us, what's happening here? In the second station we installed both of the wings and the vertical stabilizer, the four planes and of course the main landing gear. And we are, we are standing now in between the wings, so we are yes. the fuselets, so to say. Yes. Left wing, right wing. How do you fix those wings to the fuselage? Uh, we attach the wings with the wing splice system and then we insert all six of the bolts each wing. Okay. Oh, oh yeah, that's quite heavy, but you, how, many, how, many, how many bolts do you have? Six per wing. That's sufficient. I mean, it's one, two, three, four, five. True. And that sustains 9G? <laughs> yes, of course. Oh, that, that's an incredible masterpiece of engineering, I believe. And um, when you look around here at station two, you also see that you almost have an aircraft. So all the parts are coming together here. That's correct. Yes, it's the best thing about station two is that when we installed the main landing gear, we can roll the airplane and have no longer to lift it to the next station. Okay, guys, that means we are rolling now to station three. Oh wow, there's a lot of cables hanging out of this Eurofighter here. Danny, what is it all about? Uh, from now on, it's more Venus part. Uh, you are the specialist <laughs> yeah. now here again. Okay, <laughs> Benedict. Uh, this is the third section of our final assembly from the yeah. Typhoon. We got here our high voltage testing station. Uh, we have uh, our generators in the cellar that provides us about 1000 volts Ooh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> to amazing. every connector here yeah. on this aircraft. And we check every connection if it's right. And how long does it take this checking of, of, of all the connectors you have? This one, uh, uh, this section takes about two weeks and then we move on to the next section to 3.1 and there uh, you've got a military aircraft in 3.1. Now you really make me curious, so let's quickly switch to 3.1, so. right? For sure. Let's go. <laughs> so 
So Benedict, you promised me a weapon system. Now that typhoon looks like the one in the station beforehand. What makes that typhoon a weapon system? Uh, in this station we installed the radome, the canopy, the pilot launchers and the most important thing, the machine gun. So the machine gun is really installed in that hall in the final assembly. Yes. So can we have a look? Yes, of course. Great. Lower here it is. Oh, wow, that looks impressive. That's massive. What about the performance of the machine gun? Uh, the machine gun contains 150 shots and around 20 shots per second. <laughs> That's quite, quite speedy. <laughs> now, wh where do the shots go? I mean, when you're aiming that direction, where, where do they go? And we, we must go forward. Then you can see a little panel uh, over there. That's oh, yeah. the blister. But that's, but that's close. Yes, the first uh, bullet goes through the blister and then the others follow. Okay, so then you're free to fire, right? Yes. But now, Benedict, I understand why you call it a weapon system from that stage onwards. Um, I think the story of how to build a typhoon continues, but your area of responsibility, Danny, ends with that station. Yes. And uh, you've got some typhoons still to build, so we leave you here. But beforehand, of course, as everybody who's part of the fight show is getting the official patch, that's yours. Thank, Thank you. Thank you very much. Guys, and this is the fight show. Let's play. So Benedict, station 3.1 is done. What's next? Uh, the next one is the B-test hangar. B-test? Yes, B-test is the, for the system checkups from the Typhoon. Okay, whatever it means, we're gonna figure it out in a minute. But yep. allow me just to go a bit to the other side of that hangar because I saw something very interesting. So of course. hopefully we've got the time. Let's um, have a look. So this is a centrifuge lodge, yeah. but there are a lot of cables hanging out. What are you doing here? Uh, we got the, the empty centrifuge here and we install all cables and all actuators and mechanical stuff. But that's, right. that's a massive amount of cables. How, how many do you have in there? Oh, we have around about 30 kilometers of cables <laughs> uh, in the center, wow. only in the center fuse. Yeah. And you can, and you can uh, use normal cables or all these special cables that are... No, no, that's not uh, the normal cable. You can, the yeah. commercial cables you know in your house, yeah. uh, that are more massive and more stronger and have uh, a massive uh, isolation than the normal cables. Okay, because of, because of the cheese they need to... Yeah, because of the, the strong cheese you have and the thrust you got it and they have to sit on the right place and don't get scratched. Okay, I've got no doubts when I see the people working here that they stay on the right place. Um, and now I think we are ready for beat test, I right? I think so too. <laughs> Wait. Erika? Chantal? <laughs> we named all our uh, typhoons here in this hangar uh, like the alphabet, starting with an A. Uh, the first one is our Adelheid. So that means Erika is then number five. Yeah, Erika is ah, our fifth okay. one. Yes. Got it, got it. Um, Benedict, we are here in the B test hangar. Yes. So that's where the B test happens. But what does B test mean? Test. Uh, B test uh, starts with the electrical installation of the computers. Then we're doing the first power up of the typhoons mm -hmm. here. Um, do some electrical tests, some avionics tests. Um, after this, we uh, integrated the FCS. FCS is the flight control system. Yeah, right? it's the flight control system of okay. Typhoons. Yeah. And further, we go on and install all our engines into the aircraft. So this is the place where the EJ200s are put into the Typhoon. Yes, so two of them into one. Yeah. How do you do that? I mean, this is this is a massive engine. How do you get that into the Typhoon? Yeah, that's a funny question too, because uh, it's like fishing. Oh, come on. Yeah, it's like fishing. <laughs> uh, do you see the two rods? Oh yeah, Th those two. Yeah, those two. We are hanging down only on these two. And, and then, you, then you hang it up outside and it's that, that's efficient, so that can carry yeah. that can carry the weight. That's really efficient, yeah. yeah. And, and you only need three persons to uh, install. Oh wow! And how long does it take then? Uh, about two to four hours. Okay, so in two hours you've got all the the two engines in the chat and then ready the to rumble. Yeah. Okay, incredible. Benedict, you are sitting now inside the cockpit, and what we see is here that the typhoon also here starts to look like a, a real mm -hmm. typhoon. What are you testing inside the cockpit? Uh, the most of our tests are inside the cockpit. Okay. I will say about 90%. And we're checking the MHDs if we got the right displays. Yeah, but at first we need to connect the electrical feather uh, to the Typhoon. It's uh, uh, to power up our uh, systems. If you want, you can try it. Oh, really? Yeah. So you, you want me to enlighten the Christmas tree? Yeah, for sure. <laughs> okay, three, two, one. Here we go. 
Oh, wow. <laughs> Now that, that, that was easy. Yeah, uh, it's really easy. <laughs> you are sitting also not on the right chair, right? This is not an ejection yeah, seat. Yeah, it's, it's a normal uh, wood chair. Okay. Yeah, uh, the real ejection seats are coming in the later section. Okay. So Benedict, we've got a tick in the box now with the B test. Um, when is the aircraft ready to fly? Uh, after this, we go to the next section, it's called the C test section. Uh, you go to the engine ground runs, you testing uh, the aircraft and after this you go to, to your first flight. But definitely not in this fancy yellow color. No, no, see, definitely yeah? not. No, no. <laughs> this is our basic coat yeah. for the Typhoons. Uh, we painted in our gray and then we delivered it in a shiny look for our customers. Oh, so that the customer has a brand new Typhoon now. Yes, yeah. for sure. Sounds great. Guys, I think now we know everything on how to build a Eurofighter Typhoon. We did A test, B test, C test. Benedict, thank you very much for You're guiding welcome. us through the final assembly. You earned definitely your Fighter Show patch. That's yours. Thank you. Thank you very much. Guys, this marks the end of this Fighter Show episode. Take care. See you soon. And may the Air Force be with you.